Hello, my name is Walter and welcome to a post episode reaction for you. Yes, uh, we are back with a post episode reaction for you. And uh, this is uh, Game of Thrones uh, post episode reaction, and rest assured, I will be uploading it. And just, just uh, to be sure to you guys, I, I have not edited it down i actually kept it uh as the full one hour long but uh, one of the things that i did is i put it in three parts so i will be uploading the first part first then the second part then the third part so uh just uh stay tuned for that and i hope you guys enjoyed it um uh, the reason why i didn't uh sing the the theme song until the very end is because i you know i thought i was gonna edit the the intro down but i just didn't think it was um, it was proper to edit um, the intro down. So anyway, uh, this is my post episode reaction, uh, post episode review, whatever you wanna uh, call it. Uh, so I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, I was just talking to my friend about it because we just watched it together, um, and I was wondering whether to like what wh like how to comment this because uh, it's very uh, like some parts is kind of dragged down and you know some parts are really good. Uh, so I'll just talk about the really tight ones, which is the first, uh, first act, second act, and the third act, uh, which is how I kind of did the part one, part two, part three. Uh, so the first act is essentially we uh, open on a cold note where um, Arya kind of introduces to herself as uh, Walder Frey, and you know she kills all the 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 soldiers of the Frey by poisoning their uh, poisoning their. Um, their drink so that's very important that comes into play and um you know i definitely think uh Arya definitely has the the disguise down and her assassin skills down so that's something very interesting for me and i i like that she she kept a lot of you know all the phrase you know ver ver verbatisms because you know um like when uh, the girl picked up the drink and she was about to drink it and walder um walder slash uh, Arya was like, don't drink that, I don't waste wine on women, uh, that's something Walder Frey would say. So I, I definitely thought she did a really good job there. Um, and what else? Uh, the second act is essentially uh, us looking at Cersei, Cersei Lannister um, planning her counterattack kind of, because she knows that Daenerys is going to come after her. But as uh, Jamie tells her, you know, we need to get more allies, we need to get more people on our side, you know, but Cersei is kind of like haughty and like she she is like not gonna be scared so easily, I would say, and you know, she's, she's really in that arrogant state. Um, she's really haughty so uh, yeah that that's something that's gonna be kind of her downfall as well as maybe you know she may be able to to like keep off like some of Daenerys attack but I don't think you know all of her attacks will will be defended properly from Cersei's side because like you know she she had to look at uh, Ewan Greyjoy and you know he's not really a reliable guy and you know he's He's come for her marriage, and I don't really think Cersei is gonna stoop that low and uh, marry him. Um, the most I would think is sh her killing him and you know stealing his fleet, whatever. Um, and then uh, the third act is essentially us uh, seeing Daenerys getting ready for the war, so that's something really cool because we get to see Dragon uh, Dragonstone in its full scale. And uh, here's where the the side stories kind of come into play as well because. Because um, Sam found out that uh, the um, the dragons like the the place of Aegon Targaryen, uh, which is Dragonstone, has uh, dragon glass. Which I was like, yeah, it kind of makes sense because it's like Dragonstone, dragon glass. You know, I you know, who would have known that Dragonstone had dragon glass? I wouldn't have known. It, it it's pretty obvious. Is all I'm saying. Like it's like whatever. Um, like I, I still enjoyed it. I, I still like that they, they did it. Uh, at points, you know, it feels like they, they kind of dragged it out, and you know, some parts we didn't really need. Like I felt like the, the repetition of uh, him going through the motion, like Sam going through the motion, wasn't really needed. And uh, you know, yes, it's to emphasize that this is his life now. Fuck my life, whatever. But you know, I, I felt that they could have done it much better for me. Um. 
And uh, yeah, the other side story uh, which I'm going to talk about is of course the yeah, cheer and one. Um, yeah, if you see my original blind reaction, I'm like, is that a cheering? And uh, you know, today on Facebook, you know, because Facebook is the place to spoil uh, Game of Thrones now. You know, they're like, yes, that was really a cheering. Uh, so yeah, I, I didn't know how to feel about that. Then uh, my friend was telling me about um, Hobbit. Uh, the desolation, uh, the desolation of smog, and I was like, I, I haven't watched that yet, and it's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm still on the first one. Actually, I haven't f watched it to the full yet. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, that that's something where I'm like, yeah, we didn't really need that, but I also understand that you know, Arya kind of needs this humanity to to move on with like the, her day to day kind of thing and uh, I was quite shocked that she actually revealed what she wanted to do to uh, you know why why she was going to King's Landing and I, I thought the soldiers were gonna stop her but obviously you know they take her as a small child and you know they don't really believe in her believe her words whatever so uh, yeah they just laughed it off and um, like me and my, my my friend and I was like yeah, I don't think she's lying but yeah sure laugh it up why not um, and I guess the the kind of uh, side plot that kind of works into the um, the final scene, which, which was like I didn't really know who was that. Like, uh, and my friend was like, "Is uh, I think it's Jorah," and I was like, oh, "Oh yeah, we haven't seen Jorah in a while, so I definitely think that is him." So I definitely, uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely happy. I I went over my friend's place to kind of study and uh, watch the, the show as well. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I definitely think uh, Jorah is going hopefully to come back and you know help Danny out and uh, I I hope we see more of Tyrion. I hope to see I hope to hear more from him from him too uh, in the next episode hopefully. Uh, so yeah, I think that this episode is really uh, like tight knit in a way that it's more of the the structure wise uh, obviously we have winter that has finally come and you know that means the white walkers are coming as well and they're they're marching on the gate um, and we also see uh, Bran Stark so come in and like kind of kind of and uh, the like the Nostradamus of their their time and you know because he's a three-eyed raven now um and uh, we also have uh, the hound who is with the other people who captured him i'm so sorry i'm bad with names so um yeah uh, they're traveling with him and the hound actually s saw the the night workers who are marching in so uh, that's something that's going to be really cool um and uh, for me i think that um the hound is someone who's ruthless but also he he's kind of like relatable in a way because like he's he's been burned and like he's <laughs> no pun intended but he's been burned and you know he's been like through a lot and you know emotion wise physical wise you know being jabbed by Arya not like killed off is like something he's ashamed of but also I think like that gives him more of a reflection to his life I think I definitely think um, what else I definitely think that the um, I definitely think Theon Greyjoy uh, will be in the next episode that's something I'm like yeah we haven't seen Theon in a while I hope we, we, we finally get to, to to hear him as well like cause he's kinda he's kinda recovered as well and finally like with Ramsey out of the picture I think like Theon can gain his like like full masculinity again like even without like a dick you know so to say like I mean like he ha did get his dick chopped off don't get me wrong but I'm just like yeah you can still be a man without a dick you know it's just not that anymore I mean like yes it's part of your organs but yeah um so yeah um that's about it. Uh, just summed up the show right there, the first episode at least. And uh, 
the thing about it is is that I really wanted to edit it down so that you know it, was, it wasn't like too long but also like I was like yeah th these are all important that's why I didn't really edit it down and um, so I, I definitely think it was it was fine for me like the, the, the first the, the first part was okay the second part was maybe barring on like a little bit of dragginess here and there and then the third part came in with the visuals and the and uh, like the uplifting music like if you see my blind reaction i actually say like yeah the music is getting louder and louder and louder and you know she, her going into the 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 the, um, the hall like i was talking to my friend about it i was like yeah that 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 flag is is not targaryen flag like i i, I know targaryen flag and i know that's not targaryen flag so um i don't know whose flag that is yet i'm, I'm not so sure i might try to try to research it whatever uh, but yeah, that um, that's about it. Um, I'm trying to think here. Um, overall, I I think that this this series, you know, is a lot to do with the pacing, and I I, I talked about this in American Gods as well. But the difference between this and American Gods is that this one, you know, this one is more kind of tight knit, and even though. You know, we have some side stories, you know, it doesn't go on for too long. It just knows that it's here for maybe like 20 minutes and then it's gone to the next. So, uh, I definitely think the next episode is going to be a little shorter. I hope I don't have to cut it down to three parts. But if you guys liked it in three parts, please let me you know in the comments below. Don't be afraid, I won't bite, uh, please comment and uh, if you like this video please like it and if you would like to see more subscribe and you know what to do, if you want more notifications from me ring that bell because YouTube really wants you to ring the bell because it's part of their, their system now uh, and um, yeah, uh, we'll see you in the next video and uh, most probably it will be the post episode reaction first i don't know how the copyright bots is gonna like fuck me over for um game of thrones so uh yeah i will look into that and i hope you guys enjoyed this even though it was kind of kind of dull and i didn't really have much to talk about i'm so sorry uh but i i really do want to do this more like post episode reactions and everything and that technically means that you've probably watched the episode okay guys like I, i'm not really gonna put like like i mean the tag saying spoilers or anything but if you guys really want me to do that please just let me know again um and um you know I assume you guys like these videos like I mean like a lot of people watch it you know some some do comment and you know I don't know what happened to the people that used to comment on my videos like they're, they're gone I don't know why maybe they've unsubscribed for me I don't know why uh, but yeah I, I hope you guys enjoy my videos and I hope you guys come back for more you know even though it's for just for once in a while I don't really mind that, uh, you know, but um, I would like you guys to, to stay around more, you know, maybe comment, you know, maybe share my videos. I don't really mind, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm a pretty compromised guy. Again, like when I said that in my vlog, I wasn't lying. Like, I'm really proud of my achievements. I I'm really want to do this more and more, but obviously I, I don't have the proper equipment yet. I'm going to buy new equipment, obviously. Uh, I really love this computer so I'm not gonna change it um, but you know sometimes it does annoy me when it lags obviously uh, hopefully the the Game of Thrones one it didn't really lag that much so uh, hopefully it's good um, and yeah so I'm gonna be buying a new camera again just saying uh, and uh, yeah that's about it guys again I'm sorry for rambling on um, but yeah that's about it and I will see you guys when I see you, see that?